Alrighty, so I have had several suggestions of people wanting to see Ainz against Gelda, so we're going to be doing that today. We are on Gon's account, which means that I do have 18 million box CC to play around with, uh, so it should be a pretty fun time. I'm very interested to see how this kind of goes. I think the biggest obstacle is going to be trying to get rid of uh, God Melly if if we can, so that way he's not cleansing debuffs off and stuff like that, because Death Sentence is a red debuff. If you're not aware what we're trying to do here, Ainz has a passive called Death Sentence once we apply four stacks and hit somebody with a single target, and it inflicts additional damage equal to 100% of remaining HP at the end of the turn. So, it should, in theory, one-shot Gelda, even though she has, you know, insane HP. So, because we're on Gon's account, we have insane CC. We're 261 with an unknown team, which I think is a bit crazy. I've, I I, think the only thing I've seen on my own personal account is somebody using a demon team with 265k CC, which is really high. Obviously, the, the unknown team has a, a bit less CC than that, so I think Gon could hit it pretty easily. But uh, either way, we don't have a, a Gelda here, so this is going to be a little unfortunate. There's probably going to be some some odd matching uh, matches in here, so we'll see kind of how things go. Uh, we do have buffs on from Nanashi right here at the beginning, so I think we're just going to throw out some AoEs uh, and just kind of play things like usual. He does, uh, he is in um, Champ 2 at the moment, so we're not like completely in bot territory, but I'm not sure how uh, how it's going to work out for us. We'll see, though. So I'm not going to be able to hit Melly with the uh, the death sentence, because he's going to easily cleanse. But maybe we can maybe we can kill, like, Bon, or... Uh, I think, yeah, Bon would probably be the better one to try to get rid of with death sentence, I guess, here. So, boom. Uh, if he uses AoEs, that would be great, so that way he puts a ton of stacks on a character, but it doesn't look like he's going to do that. No stance cancel either, which is great. I mean, I'm, I've already got three seeds on, unless I can kill Melly here, which he's a little low. I'm not positive on that. Um, I don't have the Nanashi buffs, but I do have a lot of attack-related stats. I wonder if we could try to kill him off here, because he's going to cleanse all of his debuffs off and stuff, which would be kind of annoying. I, I don't know, maybe she'll surprise me. Okay, I mean, that was actually a lot better than I was expecting, but not quite enough. I wonder if two single targets from her would have been better instead of going for the level 2 there. But he's now cleansed. If he uses the AoE here, which I assume he is, uh, it's going to cancel the stance anyway. Luckily, he attacks with a different character first, so I do get some use out of the, uh, the counter before he cancels it, which I guess is fine. Okay, single target. Ooh, tanking like crazy. Uh, because his Ainz is 6-6, six, six, we do have a lot more um, like damage reduction sort of uh, going on here. Because like if you don't know, Ainz's passive is incredibly... Uh, it's incredibly like whale-heavy, where... Uh, where does it say it at? It's part of his passive, is it not? Uh, each stack puts on like 8%. I, where is it at? It's, oh, it's probably under his uh, his holy relic, if I had to guess. Um, let's just hit somebody with this, because I think Melly's dead here. I'll try to check whenever it ticks back to my turn here. So, okay, good damage there. He's at max stacks. There's no way he's not dead here, right? Yeah. So we're chilling with that. This is going to hit somebody. This actually might deal some good damage on its own. Yeah, I think that's going to kill anyway. Because, yeah, she's at max stacks, which it's kind of like Estorosa's passive, where... You know, that single target card does more damage depending on how many death brand stacks they have. So, you know, if we don't already kill with it, it's going to uh, put death sentence on. So, I'm pretty sure it's part of his holy relic, though. Let me let me look here really quickly. We do have uh, ultimate with hell, which is nice. Uh, let's see here. Part of the holy relic? No? Where is it in this passive? His passive is so long. Death Brand decreases damage dealt and all target uh, ultimate move final damage decreased. Why does it not say how much it is, though? It's Am I stupid? I think I'm just stupid. I don't know. I let the game do its thing, I guess. Oh, well. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's 8% damage reduction per stack that we have on the enemy team, though. Which is um, pretty insane. Like, I think at 1-6, it's literally only like 2% per, per stack. So it, it increases pretty, pretty heavily. But anyways... Uh, hopefully we can find a Gelda. I might try to skip games forward if we can't find one soon, because obviously that is kind of the whole point of the match uh, or the video. So um, 
I don't know. We'll see how things go. If you're new to the channel, by the way, feel free to subscribe if you have any cool team suggestions or anything you want to see with Gelda or, like, I don't know, just on Gon's account to maybe counter Geldas or something like that, let me know. The only thing he doesn't have right now is LR Zeldris, which is a little unfortunate, but it is what it is. All right, we have another Sins team here. I might cut this out, but we'll see. Um, We should get... Not, yeah, we should have Nanashi buffs here, turn one, so that's good. Uh, I think we just go for AoEs. We are going to give Melee, you know, stacks and everything, which is a little unfortunate, but not a huge deal. We'll uh, we'll live. We'll be okay. Plus, I mean, you've seen how much tanking the uh, the Albedo did against that that true or the uh, the all creation single target last game. So I think we'll be chilling. We get another stance. He's pushing ultimate, which is understandable. I think is that understandable? I actually don't know. Um. They get the damage reduction or like the damage dealt increase here. I wonder if we just go all in with hell here. Does he have Tarmiel Link on him? He does not. Okay, I think we go hell here because she has probably the best chance of actually killing him. Boom. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure he's dead. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to take that that last hit. So I think we're kind of chilling. So okay, that works out. He's gone. That's basically your biggest damage dealer anyway so we're we should be in a fine like position <laughs> i don't think we're gonna have any issues here we'll uh, we'll go ahead and move on it, it, even if i did leave this in maybe okay we have an arthur team which could be kind of interesting arthur can also get pretty tanky although he does have a little bit more of a chance to uh cleanse some debuffs off so i'm not a hundred percent sure how this is going to work out for us but it could be kind of interesting. He doesn't have Yuri on his team, which is good, because he's not going to have like an easy way to stance cancel me. Although, Escanor will just remove buffs and make my counter pretty much useless. It's not like completely useless, but it's, it's not good. Let's be honest with ourselves. So we'll see. Okay, goes for the single target with Arthur. So he's not pushing for Arthur's ult here. Or uh, like, not ult, but he's not pushing for the passive, which... That's fine with me, I guess. We'll just, uh... He should have a decent amount of stacks on him. I think he only cleanses, like, two debuffs off anyway. So... Let's do... Let's do this into... I think the stack gets applied beforehand, so we should be able to hit him with that. And then we'll just throw on another stance, so that way he can't get to Eins, I guess. So that throws on one stack... This does throw on the fourth stack, so this puts death sentence on him. Never mind, he's dead. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, moving on. All right, we have pushed into champ one here, so I'm hoping... Ah, okay, there's a Zeldris, but there's no... No Gelda. That's a bit unfortunate. Um, I guess that's okay, though. It's not, like, the biggest deal in the world. We'll just go for the normal sort of, like, turn one setup here. Uh, hmm. I'm assuming... Well, I was... Yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm assuming... Maybe we'll be able to find more Geldas in Champ 1, because I, I assume a lot of people that are going to be playing and like pushing into the high ranks and stuff like that and still playing in uh, Champ 1 will probably be people playing with the new characters. So maybe a little bit more Zeldris action, maybe a little bit more Gelda, hopefully, but uh, we will have to see here. Okay, using the AoE, that's going to be really nice. I should be able to kill his, uh, his melee off pretty easily here. Okay, and then Zeldris card. Okay. Zeldris is pretty squishy. That uh, I, I'm almost surprised that didn't just outright kill him. But I don't think we're going to have any real issues here. So we can pretty much just do this. And then we can probably just kill. So full stacks on him. Goodbye. And then he only has like two stacks. But if it's an extra stack on. So that's three stacks. 237 yeah he is <laughs> he he dies pretty quick man boom 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 oh okay that last crit actually did secure the kill so that's great uh anyways moving on let's try to find a gelda okay finally a gelda i'm hoping <laughs> kind of low cc i'm really hoping it's not just a forfeit because i literally i have forfeit five matches i think in a row now kill me okay a gelda let's go two matches in a row I do out CC. Will he stay? Please, come on, stay. Um, okay, so let's just do the normal turn one setup. I need to get rid of Melly pretty quick. 
I can basically just ignore Gelda for the moment. Because I think we'll be fine. Pretty good damage there. We just need to put stacks onto Gelda, basically, and then hit her with a single target. And then we're basically chilling. Which I guess... Oh, uh, he's just going to rush ultimate, of course. Um, He does get the... We've been through this before, so I'm just going to do this, and I think that'll kill. Because he gets the damage taken increase, it uh, it helps quite a bit. Yeah, I think that's going to kill, so... I'm going to imagine he's going to forfeit once his melee dies, unfortunately. I Surprisingly, I'm not seeing that many Geldas, which is... I guess good in a way, but bad for this video. Um, so we'll see how that kind of works out for us. We'll see if he is willing to cooperate here. Okay, he's using some Gelda cards. The Hell Stacks will also help quite a bit with getting rid of uh, some of his like HP that Gelda like, accumulates a ton of. He is going for the Eins, which is very smart. Luckily, I do have one... Um, thingy here. Oh god, okay. She's actually taking quite a bit of damage. The hell is actually coming in kind of clutch here. So, let's do this so he can't kill Ainz. This, and then we can just hit him with a single target if this doesn't already kill, which I don't think this is going to kill. Yeah, kind of kind of low-ish damage here. I'm using the level 1 because I don't need to use anything higher. Almost kills, but we do put on death sentence, which is easy peasy. So even if he hits into me, which the counter might kill him here, but... The lifesteal that she has, uh, you know, is basically going to be non-existent. Like, it, it doesn't matter if he lifesteals all the way back up to full HP or not. The death sentence will kill. So, like, the only... I think the only way you can live a death sentence is if you have some sort of, like, shield on or something. And uh, he definitely does not. So, at the very end of this turn, he's encroaching my Albedo here, which is not a big deal because it's going to be on my turn. And boom. Okay. I mean, hey, that's <laughs> that's what we're here for. That's that's what I wanted to see, so I guess that's uh, that's that's nice. <laughs> it feels I gotta say it feels a little anticlimactic more than anything. It's just like all right, she's here. It doesn't make any big spectacle out of it. She just goes, eh! <laughs> and then she's dead. So um, yeah, I don't know. It's definitely a nice way to get rid of her. Which I'll say, I think the hell stacks were probably helping so much that we were going to be able to get rid of her with regular, like, damage cards anyway. So, I think that having just Hell against it could be really good. It's just a matter of making sure that you can get rid of Melee before he becomes, like, a real nuisance because, you know, at that point, you know, Gelda will either use cards and put Hell stacks on herself and then you can get rid of her HP that way, or if you have Ainz, you can, you can just Death Sentence her because she's not going to have a way to cleanse it off. Unless, like, maybe they're running LR Zelda's Commandment or something like that. Which, even then, you just have to know who to prioritize first. Like, if she's the last one on the team, she doesn't have any way to cleanse, you're going to be able to kill her with Death Sentence anyway. So, it's it's a, a decent little workaround to, like, all that HP. So, I'm pretty sure this is a bot, but either way, it is a uh, it's a fun fun little Arthur team. I'm going to go ahead and just hit him with the old, with the old Death Sentence here, just because I can. Uh, I mean, I do think that, you know, Arthur gets pretty tanky. You can see that only does, like, 65k. Uh, he was running Yuri, which... Ooh, okay, I'm not going to actually kill here. But, uh, because he didn't... I, I think this is a bot. He didn't get all three of his stacks like he should have. He's not going to cleanse any debuffs off, which he... Never mind, I think this is a real player, because he's actually moving cards around and stuff. Stance cancels me, which I don't really care, to be honest, at this point. Like, it's, it's pretty much Jover. Uh, he doesn't have his passive built yet, so that's not going to do that much damage. And, yeah, I think we're pretty much chilling here. So Arthur's gone. Bye-bye. So that's cool. And then uh, the rest of his team is pretty weak now, so we can basically just do something like this and then get rid of the rest of his front line. So, I mean, I do like this uh, this unknown team. It's a very cool setup. I really do enjoy using it whenever you can, like, out-CC and stuff, but uh, I think on most people's accounts, you're not going to be able to out-CC with the unknown team most of the time, and that uh, that definitely is a big factor in this meta, for sure. So, either way, um, I'm going to try to find one more Gelda. I've been forfeiting a ton of matches, which I really don't like doing, but... Uh, he did have a ton of tickets on the account for me to mess around with, so we'll see how it goes. All right, here's a Gelda right here. I have to say, ooh, really good CC. 
I wonder if he'll stick around, actually. Uh, oh, I knew it. I knew it. I think I'm going to call it there. I am so sick of just forfeiting games trying to find Geldas. I have to say, though, it has been kind of eye-opening for me. I think that not as many people summoned for Gelda as I was maybe expecting, but I think obviously a big, you know, there's there's some caveats to that. Like one, it's 1.38 p.m. on a Wednesday, so not necessarily prime time. That does have a lot to do with it. So, you know, depending on who's online or whatever, um, it's still pretty early in the week as of the banner coming out. So I'm, I'm assuming still people are going to end up summoning like over the next, you know, week or so. Uh, and the fact that... Uh, you know, we're in the middle of the Arthur Festival. A lot of people probably spent a ton of their gems on Arthur and don't have the gems to summon on Gelda. So there's a couple of different factors going into it here, but uh, a lot less Gelda teams than I was maybe expecting to go up against. But I think it actually worked out pretty pretty well. I like I think the core of the team and everything still really cool. I don't know how usable it's going to be on like you know the regular players' account, but um, at least. You know, with this setup, uh, I mean, we were basically able to just get rid of Gelda, no problem. Which was great. That's honestly great. Uh, so, <laughs> can't really say anything else about that. But, either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I know this one was like, God, it was all over the place. Because I couldn't really find the Geldas and stuff that I needed. And two of them forfeit, I think. So, I guess it just is what it is. But, you know, I would forfeit too if I seen the direct counter to my unit on the enemy team with crazy high CC. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you guys later.